For solids, we can talk about the linear expansion, but there is no length for liquid and gas, so we have to talk about volume expansion. The equation for volume expansion is very similar to that of uh, the linear expansion. The capital V is for volume, and the delta T again is in degree Celsius or Kelvin, and the beta is the coefficient of volume expansion. What do you think is the unit for beta? Since delta V and the V, they have the same units. That means the unit for beta and the delta T, they must cancel. So the unit for beta must be 1 over degrees Celsius, the same unit as alpha. For a solid, it has both alpha and beta. How do you think alpha and beta are related? Some may think that beta is alpha cubed because the one is for volume and the other one is for length. However, the beta of a solid is about three times the alpha, not alpha cubed. If you look at alpha and beta, you can see that they both have one over degree Celsius for unit. So cubing alpha would not work out unit wise. I will now quickly go over why beta is three times the alpha. Let's consider a solid in the shape of a cube. Each side of the cube is L0. And when temperature goes up by delta T, the side expands by delta L and becomes L0 plus delta L. Since we can also say that the volume V0 expands to V0 plus delta V, and the V0, the original volume, is L0 cubed, the final volume is uh, the new length uh, cubed. We can get delta V, the change in volume, the final volume minus the initial volume, is uh, the new length cubed minus the old length cubed. So L0 plus delta L cubed minus uh, L0 cubed is the, ex the volume expansion. So. If you remember from your algebra class, uh, x plus y cubed would give you x cubed plus 3 times the x squared times uh, y plus 3 times the x times uh, y squared plus uh, y cubed. So this is the expansion of that and then minus the L0 cubed. And that means the L0 cubed can cancel. So delta V equals to these three terms added together. And those th two terms, they are much smaller, much smaller than this term. Because uh, delta L is much smaller than L. So when we multiply this by delta L, we get a small number. But if we multiply by delta L squared, we get an even smaller number. And if it's delta L cubed, that's even smaller. So this term is much smaller than this one, and this one is much smaller than that one, which means uh, we can ignore these ones uh, and just say delta V is about 3L0 squared times delta L. Since from this equation, we can see that beta equals to delta V over V0 times delta T. That means uh, I can plug in the delta V, that's this. So it's a 3L0 squared times delta L. And V0 is L0 cubed. So this is L0 cubed times delta T. And of course, the L0 squared cancels with the L0 squared and the beta would be left with 3 times delta L over L0 times delta T. And uh, the delta L over L0 times delta T is uh, the alpha. So this is 3 times alpha. It, the reason why it is 3 times the alpha is because this 3 right there. For example, alpha of normal glass is 9 times 10 to the negative 6 while beta is 3 times that, 
27 times 10 to the negative 6.